Welcome to our 15th session of The Art as Therapy. I'm Yoko. Today, we'll learn about the relationship of art and human existence and explore how art can be a journey to freedom. We'll also explore art activities related to freedom and existence. In history, art has been an integral part of human existence. Art is food to our soul. Early humans made art as a part of their life, such as cave art for religious or spiritual purposes. Some were believed to be vital to their everyday existence. Nowadays, we continue to make art for leisure, enjoyment, critical thinking, and contemplation about life events, our surroundings, and lived experiences. Art can help us to portray how we perceive or feel our world. It can be realistic or an ideal that we dream of, or even fictionary or imaginary. When we create art with our findings about our world and lived experiences, art becomes, like science, evidence of our existence, the way of our living and our way of being. In our previous session, I have shared some techniques on how to make meanings from our arts. As we use art to document life events and experiences, the art forms reflect our values, identities, social and cultural beliefs. Over time, we create our own art. At the same time, we take reference or appreciate other people's art. These artistic activities allow us time and reflective distance to gain more understanding of our individual and collective existence. Art helps to preserve different perspectives and communities together that make our world as one. When we make art, we have the total freedom to imagine, create, deconstruct or recreate our expressions which are free of judgment or others' interference. We are the one to control how and what we want to express ourselves and who we are in our art. Art is free expression. It's limitless and boundless. When words are limited in communicating our experiences or complex emotions with others, we can use colors, lines, movements or forms to express ourselves. We feel liberated to find our own voice. Art making is an activity that we can feel uninhibited to just do something with our intuition or gut feelings. The process embraces all sorts of possibilities, risks, darkness, wildness, and uncertainties. In art, we are true to ourselves, and this is why art can free our souls. Along the path, we will practice mindful walking and making art in nature. Empty your mind and focus on our senses. Pick up objects that draw your attention. So, now we are going to take a rest. While we are taking a rest, we can do this breathing exercise. We are going to take three breaths to calm ourselves down. Okay, so breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Last breath, breathe in, breathe out. Relax your shoulders, and then we are going to do this art activity. So we are going to use these picked up leaves, or any materials that you have picked up, to create an art, you can create a symbol or a shape that represents your here and now feeling. Notice what comes up in your body, your sensations, your feelings. Take a look at the objects. Notice what are the changes that happen during the process. After you have finished, say thank you to your art silently and then you're going to leave them here and tell yourself it's okay for them to be here. You're going to leave them 
at a distance. And now we will continue to walk. And while you're walking, remember to breathe. So I'm going to explore with you this activity using some natural materials and uh, very simple uh, ropes or yarns that you can uh, use from home. The idea of using these natural materials that I picked from a park, because I was inspired by how things exist and how things never last, like lives, it's always about a cycle. And these twigs just remind me of life. So I'm going to make an artwork that represents perhaps our existence, not only human beings, but also our nature, things that we encounter in our life. So more to Get in touch with the here and now feelings at the present moment, taking, uh, looking at these materials, how they inspire me now. So now I'm just trying to see how I'm going to put these together. Looking at the form, the sizes and different curves, different shapes of these twigs. I kind of like these two twigs to be placed like this. And it looks like something to me. So I also found uh, some smaller twigs. I'm thinking to bend this to form some circles or spirals. And then let me use uh, some of this jute yarn to tie them first, tie it together. Leave it like that for now. I'm going to make a few more. Sometimes it's very interesting when we are making art, we are in such a quiet space with ourselves. It just heightened our sensations to the, to the surrounding. And now I can hear the birds chirping, uh, the nature, the sounds coming from the nature. So I have finished making uh, some spirals or some circular forms that I feel like making them using the smaller twigs. I'm going to combine or uh, sort of tie all these pieces together and make this sculpture. So I have finished this artwork, a sculpture that is made of natural, natural materials, the twigs and some jute yarn. During the process, I was thinking about my own existence um, the twigs, when I f first formed it, it looks like a fish. So it kind of reminds myself that um, my uh, heritage. My father told me that um, he used to flee from his own country and he swam miles uh, across the ocean to where I was born. So whenever I swim, uh, when I was under the water, I remember my father told me about this his experience. So, yeah, I wonder, I also have a part connect to the sea. I myself uh, came from my parents, their stories, their experience, and it seems that um, the sea has a special um, connection with me. And so today I have created this sculpture that looks like uh, a fish to me. Yes. And you can always put it up on the wall or at one corner in your living space. And you can continue to work on it. 
We have come to the end of today's session. To summarize, we have learned about the relationship of art and human existence. We have also explored how art can be a journey to freedom. We also explored art activities related to freedom and existence. I hope you enjoyed the session. See you next time.